I nominated uh, my grandson for the bike giveaway. Trey is a kid that will be in the background. He's kind of a quiet kid. He's kind of shy. He's not going to be right out front, you know, and see me, see me type kid, but smiles and has a good attitude. He'll help out in the house with his mom um, without being asked. He just goes and does it and surprises you. This bike will give him the mobility of getting out a little bit easier, go to his friend's house because they have the bikes, and he'll be able to go with them now and go cruising on the bikes with them. Well, welcome back. The first week of August is nearly over, which means the first days of school will be upon us before we know it. But there's still time for kids to get out and ride around the neighborhood. Andrea Young joins us from Boyd Law this morning with another Bikes for Kids winner. So uh, tell us about this young man and uh, why he's so deserving. Good morning. Yeah, our week seven winner is Trey from Michigan. Um, he was nominated by his grandmother, Julie, and Julie told us um, just how kind and caring Trey is and that she felt he was deserving of a new bike because he has a great attitude and he just is out and willing to help without being asked. Um, and she really wanted to recognize him for his efforts. And it has to be uh, so self-satisfying for you all to be able to uh, award him uh, with the bike just to ride around the uh, last few weeks of summer. It is, yeah. Like you said, there's only a few more weeks before going back to school, so we hope Trey can get out with his friends now and ride along. Yeah, really awesome. I remember those days. Hey, times were <laughs> easy then, right? Yes. Well, let's uh, let's talk about some uh, auto coverage, uh, and really we want to focus in on uh, medical pavement coverage. Tell us about the benefits of that. Yeah, so I oftentimes get potential clients or clients that call in and they are under the belief that as they treat or as they are going through the process, that their bills are going to be paid by the at-fault person or by the insurance company. And that's just not the case. Unfortunately, um, it takes some time to work through the process, but really it comes down to one lump sum payment, and that is to cover everything, medical bills, pain and suffering, lost wages, things like that. So in the meantime, um, clients can be accruing medical expenses that are just hanging out there. So if you have medical payment coverage or a referral to his med pay on your own auto insurance policy, you can use that to pay the medical bills as you're going through the process. And it really helps our clients um, as they're going through it. Yeah, so what about surgeries, doctor's visits? Uh, what about co-pays? Does that help with that as well? It does. And so the benefit of contacting an attorney is we really look into all the options to make sure that the bills are being paid in the best way. So first contact an attorney um, to help and analyze everything. But yes, yeah, sometimes we can look to the medical payment coverage and use that. Um, there's also something called personal injury protection. That's more used in at-fault states such as Michigan, that is going to encompass um, a broader range of what's offered, such as if you need help getting to appointments, um, if you're off work, if you need someone to help out around the house. So with personal injury protection, if that's offered in your state, that's going to offer a broader range of, of coverage for you. So let's talk about personal injury protection for a bit. Uh, just say I'm injured and now uh, I have a little one at home. I'm not able to uh, take care of my little one as I'm recovering from this injury, uh, does uh, personal injury protection assist with that? Uh, it can. Yep, so it's really important though to fill out the paperwork correctly. So again, meet with someone probably an attorney to help you fill out the paperwork to make sure you're putting it down correctly and give, getting the coverage that you need at that time. So um, many people, unfortunately, they ne no one wants to talk about this, but just say uh, there's an unfortunate situation, someone uh, dies in a crash, uh, does this help pay for that funeral cost? Yeah, personal injury protection can. Um, one thing to remember though, if this is a contractual agreement, so we do need to look at everyone's individual policies um, just to see how they are written. Um, again, it's a contractual agreement between you and your insurance company, so we do need to look at that, but yes, they can cover that. So when we talk about coverage, coverage can, it can get kind of confusing at times. We just went through a list of, of questions about things. So when, when people need this assistance uh, to figure out what coverage is best for them, what would you advise? 
The short answer is get as much as possible, but I know that's not always um, something that everyone can do. So you should have an agent, someone you can work with. They can walk you through what coverage is available and at what price, but the more you can get, it really does come in handy when you need it. Yeah, we uh, hate paying for it on the front end, but like you mentioned, it helps on the back end in case uh, something happens. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us and uh, providing all that great information this morning. Thank you. Well, you're watching Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show coming up. Animals are a big part of it. You see them there, but so are rides, contests, food, demolition derbies, and so much more. Diane is live at the Wood County Fair after the break on your day.